Evan, oh, Evan. Yes, how are you? I am perfectly fine. Um, There we go. That's more like it. Can you please explain what all this is for? Well, okay, let me put the volume down on this because I can barely hear you. Evan, how are you feeling right now? I'm okay. How does this music make you feel? It's okay. Are you feeling seduced? (laughs) Definitely not. (laughs) Well, Evan. (laughs) Well, uh... That was all because this is episode 69, Evan. Oh, wow. (laughs) Okay, that makes more sense. I looked up, like, sexy (laughs) music. That song was called Midnight Seduction. Ooh, I could play shit from Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, no. Anyway, welcome, Evan, to episode 69. Welcome. I'm, I'm good. How are you? Horny. No, I'm fine. I'm good. How are, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I found my notebook. You did? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So, uh, before I share with you some, some, um, old and older notes in here, how are you and how was your week? What'd you do? Anything memorial? Memorable, not memorial. memorial. Um, you know, I went to, I went to work. I, I got a new vehicle. Oh yeah, you did. You showed me part of it. Yeah, I can send you a picture and you can put it in the podcast if you want. Okay. Um, other than that, that's pretty much been it. I've just been kind of chilling and uh, not doing much. What kind of car did you get? What'd you get? A, a new Nissan Frontier. Oh my God! You have a Nissan Frontier? I do. You have a legendary truck, by the way. (laughs) Why? Because the vehicle you just purchased is a fucking beast, okay? Our top story tonight, a plane with malfunctioning landing gear was saved from disaster by a pickup truck. I mean, I was right out here. I was afraid for the people on the plane. Like the front wheels weren't coming down, and so it needed help landing. Inside the terminal, passengers awaiting their flights watched it all unfold. And we heard this like huge commotion, and everyone rushed toward the window. Yeah. We see an airplane coming in, and it's gonna crash, or so I think. This truck just comes out of nowhere, and it just like came right under it, and the plane just landed right, right on top of the truck. Meanwhile, inside the aircraft, passengers <laughs> Had been expecting okay. the worst. This is yeah, obviously we fake. We were going to be just circling. You don't but have to ruin the magic, <laughs> Evan. That was really frightening. The truck, a Nissan Frontier, was driven by an airport <laughs> mechanic. He says he doesn't consider himself a hero. I heard it come in over the radio. The plane was coming in, so I just had to gas it, get it up to full speed. You know, got the Pro 4X off-roading package, so this thing can handle some pretty rugged stuff. <laughs> More, including reaction from pilots and air traffic controllers. Oh my gosh. Coming up tonight so the there you the go. one I got, the one I got was a Pro 4X. Evan. Just, dude, it can handle some heavy stuff, obviously. You got the beefiest truck you could have I, ever bought in ever. I would love to imagine what would happen if an airplane <laughs> actually tried to land in the back of the truck. Oh, I no, that the, truck is destroyed. That truck. I is, think the truck would would pop a wheelie and then shortly flip. <laughs> yeah, well, the video's fake, but it doesn't mean it's not legendary, Evan. Yeah. So, so, oh, I'm, I'm really glad that you showed me this. Well, back to normal. Sorry. Yeah. So you got a Nissan Frontier, huh? Yes, I did. Well, you better be catching fucking airplanes out of the sky with that thing. That's my job, Christian. The last thing I probably told you in my book that you got me uh, was that uh, I got two pocket-sized notebooks for my podcast ideas. I told you that, right? Yes, you did. Because that was the last check mark that I have on here. Next thing on my list that I forgot to tell you is that I got 
Uh, 9.1 surround sound system in my living room. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yes. You like it? It is violent, Evan. <laughs> it is threatening. It. I was watching... Um, okay, so you need some context here. So uh, the TV that my mom got is an 85-inch uh, fucking huge monstrosity. And... The TV is on uh, this, like, bar, sort of like a bar thing with shelves. And she has her alcohol in there, and there's these two outer pieces that have glass shelves in them with, like, her okay. her cups and her shit like that. So when I got the, the 9.1 surround sound speakers, I put the sound bar under the TV. So it's on the same, uh, it's on the same like, thing that the tv is on and the subwoofer is right in front of that and it's got detachable um uh, left and right parts so there's the center sound bar then there's the left and the right that are detachable and then there's the subwoofer in front and okay. uh we were watching titanic which you know there's a big crash that happens in the movie and i like to listen to uh, the spoiler movies. Oh, <laughs> whoops. It's only the oldest fucking historic crash ever. Um, but yeah, spoiler, there's a giant crash. And um, I, like to my, I like to listen to my movies very loudly. And I had the volume at almost 100. It was at like 90 or 92. And when the ship started sinking... <laughs> the house was fucking shaking. It was so loud that the glass shelves in my mom's like bar unit, they shattered. What? I'm not joking. No I have way. photos. They no fucking way. shattered. What? I have proof. Listen. Why do you need to listen to your movies that loud? That's because Evan. That's when you're on the Titanic, look it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well. The movie was so loud that I couldn't tell if it was the if the shattering was coming from the movie or if something actually broke. So then I paused the movie, and then there's just fucking broken glass everywhere. Oh, so God. that's really good, dude. They are really good. They're JBLs. They're, oh, they oh, cost yeah. over a thousand dollars, dude. JBLs, no joke. No, they're no fucking joke, Evan. <laughs> they will break your shit. <laughs> okay, so let me check that off my motherfucking list. Oh, so when I was working at Dollar Tree, uh, some lady, you know, usually customers come up to the register with their stuff, and they say, hi, how are you? And I'm supposed to say, oh, I'm good. How are you? Did you find everything all right? And then, you know, bullshit like that. Register, regular register shit, right? Yeah. And one lady came up to me and did not say that. Not the usual greeting. She said, if I have to hear I'm pregnant one more time, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> And Please instead of me, that's instantly what you said. Instead of saying, "Hello, how are you?" I said, "I'm pregnant." <laughs> and, she, and she like not quietly, she said, "Oh no!" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, okay. I'm not really pregnant." Oh my gosh! <laughs> and the next thing on my list is that I quit Dollar Tree. Yes, I knew that. <laughs> But I will go over more things on my list later. I don't want to next time you know, hold up this episode too much since I've already fucking held it up way, way too much. But things I'm going to do currently is that on Friday I'm going to the buffet. Then I'm going to IKEA because this time I actually need some stuff. Unlike other times where I just go like every time. I mean, I just go and look around. Ninety percent of the time, they got awesome stuff. The IKEA is pretty cool. I do like IKEA. 
I got a box of windscreens like this, this foam, and the box is getting too small. You need, need a bigger, bigger box. Yeah, I do. Simple. And they have boxes there for like two bucks, rather than like Home Depot, which is like eight bucks. You know, fucking it's yeah. you know, it is a bit of a drive, but they got good shit. So I guess we can go to the first segment. Okay, I want to have a drink with Evan. So this is my drink. Uh, it's been sitting for a second, so it's slightly uh, like because there's there's lemon juice in it. So the lemon juice has slightly separated. Oh. It still tastes the same. Mix it in. Anyways, okay. I don't no, uh, no. I no? I don't care that much. Uh, what is this called? It's called. This is the book I got it from. Bartender's Bible. I don't know if I used this one last time or I used this one. Anyways. It is called Maiden No More. Uh, and it is one and a half ounces of gin, half an ounce of Cointreau or triple sec, uh, one teaspoon of brandy, and one ounce of lemon juice. Um, I've had about two sips of this. Okay. Three sips. Um, it's very tart. Um, probably because there's an ounce of lemon juice in it and also gin gin is not a very sweet substance um there's no sugar based product so there's like no sugar or like simple syrup or like grenadine Mm -hmm. all the sweetness in this actually comes from um the brandy uh which which i like because actually i don't really enjoy brandy by itself but using it as a sweetener is is kind of working Especially since it's such a little amount compared to the rest of the drink. Okay, I rate this drink probably for me personally, like a seven out of ten, uh, okay. because I'm I'm a fan of of tart drinks, um, and this is pretty good. It's sour. It's doesn't really taste like alcohol. Is the lemon overpowering of the what, what you said brandy? Um, no, I wouldn't say the lemon's overpowering. I would say it's like a main characteristic of the drink, mm. but it, it doesn't like wash out the other flavors. Like you can still like taste the tiny bit of brandy in it and you can still like get the flavors of the gin. So it, well, also there's coin trout or triple sec, which also is, it's like an orange liqueur. Um, so I mean that that mixed with the lemon juice is it's pretty citrusy drink. I don't think I would like that drink. Oh, you're not a big fan of citrus? Like sweet citrus like orange, yes, but lemon? No. Mm. I don't even like lemon in my pozole. Like fuck that. Like it ruins my whole soup. All of it gets thrown out the window. So, I really Maybe don't not then. It. Yeah, maybe you wouldn't. Like what? I thought you you tried to no uh, that's a different drink. Never mind. Doesn't Screwdriver, matter. right? That's that's just yeah. orange juice and vodka. Yeah, that's totally different. So that was sweet. I I think I am more of a sweet kind of. Uh, okay, I'm a, I'm a sweet guy. Yeah, well, this is this is definitely different, and yeah, I give it a seven out of ten. Well, thank you, Evan, for sharing. And this has been have a drink with Evan. So I guess we could always start off with your your drink segment first, but then should we do the movie quiz last or the higher low game last? Uh, let's do the movie quiz for right this time. Yeah. Okay. This is the movie quiz. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> there, I dropped it down. Oh th- well, thank you. Okay. You might be able to get these. I'm looking at them right now. You might. I think you definitely get at least one or two. So this is the movie quiz. If you haven't seen our previous episodes, the movie quiz is a bunch of cards containing questions about popular or unpopular movies. And movie genres, too. See, It's just Split a simple question game. You either yep. know it 
or you don't. If you know There's it, There's two two questions can, per card. You can gain a point. And <laughs> well, if you don't know it, you don't get shit. Okay. We'll go with comedy uh first. Fuck. Um do do you not watch a lot of comedies? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, you might have seen this one. In which movie can Adam Sandler be found playing ice hockey and golf? Oh, uh, that is uh, Happy Gilmore. Correct. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I was Woo. before you at, before you started talking. I was going to say the only comedies I watch are like Adam Sandler movies. Well, congratulations. So, okay. Uh, in which All Star 2018 movie do this is I'm not expecting you to guess this, but do the eight eight main actors have a total of four Oscars, two Emmys, nine Grammys, six Golden Globes, five BAFTAs, and ten SAGs? Please repeat that question. In which all star two thousand eighteen movie do the eight main actors have a total of a bunch of awards? And this is for comedy? I so I haven't seen this movie. I don't know if I would consider it a comedy. I haven't. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Fuck. Ah, fuck. So I don't know if the movie I'm thinking about has eight. There's also another movie that I'm thinking about that I haven't seen that has a lot of main characters, but I haven't seen that one. I'm gonna say Knives Out. No. Fuck, is it something with a train or murder mystery on a train? No. What the fuck? Okay. What is it? It's Ocean's 8. Oh, I didn't see that shit. What the fuck? Uh, I didn't I thought I that was supposed to be like a heist movie. A That's comedy. what I would have thought. I haven't seen it though. Anyways, that is the first two questions. Do you want to go or do you want me to do my next card? I will go. Evan, your first card is from the classics. Oh, yay. Okay. First question. Hopefully it's a an easy one. Who played Jules in Pulp Fiction? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. You uh, I have not yeah, I know. I have not seen Pulp Fiction. Also, I'm really bad at the actor names, so I would have gone that even if I uh had seen it. You, unless it's unless it's Samuel L. Jackson or whatever his name is. So you can either Give me a guess, or you can give up and lose. The I'll point. do the Samuel L. Jackson. That's the only actor I know. You motherfucker! It is Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, I, I, that's the only d- person I know from that movie. Fuck yes, Jules. Okay, is played by Pulp. Is played Woo, by Samuel, but I guess correctly. You fucking bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your red side question is: In the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Which song does Ferris Bueller lip sync? Oh, God. I don't know. I've only seen it once, so. So are yeah. you giving up or would you like I give to up. give a guess? Yeah, no, I give up. It's Twist and Shout. Twist and Shout. I would not have gotten that. I haven't <laughs> even seen the movie, so. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, you can go. Okay, this is a horror slash thriller one. Which famous director returned with the box office hit Split in 2017? Oh, fucking And dick. you can't look fucking behind you. You can't look behind you. Oh, because there's a... Yeah, you can't, you yeah, can't look behind there you. there is a fucking... Oh! M. Night Shyamalan. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good I job. Had to fucking think about it. But yeah, Alexa, turn on desk lights. I have a glass movie poster which has all those characters. And it does at the top say from M. M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. <laughs> what was the title of Stephen King's first novel, which was made into a film two years after publication? Wait, I'm sorry. Please re- reread the question. What was the title of Stephen King's first novel, which was made into a film two years after publication? It is a classic horror movie. Shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know what his first publication. 
Oh my god, I don't fucking know. Okay, well, do you know you know some Stephen yes. King stuff? So I guess just throw one out there. Oh, fuck, I know an old one about like this guy in a wheelchair. And there's this like crazy lady. Oh fuck, I don't even know what that's called. I want to say like the cabin in the woods. Okay, I'm gonna say that, but I don't even fucking know. Okay, if I had to guess, Cabin in the Woods is definitely not Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, also, <laughs> Alexa, turn off dust lights. Okay, it it was Carrie. Carrie, god damn it! Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the original and the remake they made. I thought, I haven't. I also haven't seen that one, but I think it's pretty cool. God damn it. I really like the cabin in the woods answer though. Fuck you, cause, cause in that movie with that guy in the wheelchair, this lady like keeps him like prisoner in this sort in like this house in the middle of the fucking forest, and it's like snowing and shit. So it's sort of like a cabin in the middle of the woods. So that's why I okay. said that. God damn it. Uh, are you done with your card? Is that was that it? Yeah. Yeah, so you have two out of the four questions. And I have one Woo-hoo. so okay. far. Okay, so your next card is from Action. Okay. Your first question, your white side question is, in which film does Liam Neeson play a frantic father trying to track down the kidnappers of his daughter? Oh, Taken. Also oh, Taken shit. 2 and Taken 3. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's like fucking Toy Story. Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Taken. Correct. I'm going to let you know, I haven't seen any of those movies. <laughs> you haven't? No. Why? <laughs> I do Why? know what they're about, but I have not seen them. Dude, the first one is honestly the best. The second one is like, okay. Third one, complete dog shit. Awful movie. Like, how many times because his daughter really get fucking taken, you know? Like, take three, it. three, three take times again. Take in the third time. Like, come. Like the first time was the first one was good enough. You know, just quit it. Okay, I'm getting carried away here. Your red side question is: Which infamous gangland twins does Tom Hardy port portray in Legend? Legend, just Legend. Yeah, the movie's called Legend. I, I don't know. No, I have not seen it. I have no clue. Would you like to give a guess or just give up? No. Give up. Okay. <laughs> the answer is Ronnie and th- Ronnie and Reggie Cray, also known as the Cray Twins. <laughs> the Cray Twins. Okay, so we tied. Yeah, we did. We tied. Look at that. That's no so winner fun. this time. There's got to be a winner. I think I'm the winner. Okay. Whoever whoever wins the Google questioning wins. Oh, there you go. You're right. Uh, uh, well, so, so far the the odds are in your favor. <laughs> why? Why are they in my I've, favor? Because I've done worse on oh, the higher no. lower game every time. I wonder if our location has anything to do with it. Because you're in Alaska and I'm in California. I wonder Fuck. if like my my no, IP or anything. This can't be right. It's the same questions I got you got last time. Uh, I the last time you gave me a um the Google one, and but, and I got that one previously, but then the next one was completely different. So, anyways, this has been the movie quiz. Are you ready to be deafened, Evan? Yeah. Now it's time to get high or low. Okay, so I had to do a little thing here because it wouldn't give me a new game. It was just the same questions that you got last time. So I skipped ahead a little bit in the game and uh, we're starting on some new ones. Uh, your score will not be whatever the score is. I'm going to start counting. How many the first one right. in did you go? Uh, currently three. three. Oh, okay. 
Okay. All right. I'm so there's Malaysia Airlines, which has 1.5 million average monthly searches. Is God higher or lower searches than Malaysia Airlines? I think God is higher. Than higher? Malaysia Airlines. You are wrong. Fuck. Your score zero. <laughs> Really? People <laughs> yes. look up an airline more than God? Would you like to try again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hinduism has 246,000 average monthly searches. Does Stone Cold Steve Austin have higher or lower searches? Steve Austin has fewer. Searches. Oh, don't say that. That is correct. Oh, that shit. is correct. Stone Cold Steve Austin has 165,000 average monthly searches. Oh, Does the Candy Crush Saga have higher or lower searches? <laughs> it's got to be lower. Wait, 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 wait. How many searches does he have? 165,000. Candy Crush has higher, higher searches. Yes, oh! it does. <laughs> By a lot. Candy Crush Saga has 7.48 million average monthly searches. It's all those grandmas trying to get their candy. <laughs> does Hank Aaron have higher or lower searches than the Candy Crush Saga? Oh, I have no idea who the fuck that is. So I'm going to say Hank Aaron has lower searches then that is correct holy jesus yeah Candy hank Crush. aaron has forty nine thousand five hundred average monthly searches does football have higher or lower searches than hank aaron how many does hank aaron have again forty nine forty thousand think football. about football football just the word football yes i think football has more than Hank Aaron. That is correct. Holy dick, Evan. Holy fuck. Football has 6.1 million average monthly searches. 6. 1 million. The next one is Tesco, like the gas station. Is that oh. higher or lower than football with 6.1 million I average monthly searches? Tesco has fewer. It's got to be less than just broad football. This is where you have failed. No! Tesco has more searches with really? seven, over seven million searches. You scored four. Holy the shit. The average score is 3.2. Holy shit, I'm above average. You are so average. Keep at it. No, I'm above average. That's what it, it says. You're so average. No. Congratulations. This is the highest score you've ever gotten. I know. I'm breaking records, dude. <laughs> Okay, I would like to uh, form a complaint, though. Yes. The, it said the average score was three, right? Yes, 3.2. And I scored a four, which literally means above average. No. So I don't think... What? <laughs> but it's on. above the average. <laughs> Okay, it's your turn. I'm. I don't need. I don't need this. It's not good for my heart. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going class. Again. Does the film Sausage Party have higher or lower votes than Ryan Air, an airline with twenty four million average monthly searches? Twenty four million or two point four? Twenty four million nine hundred thousand monthly searches i'm gonna go with sausage party sausage party has more yeah. searches than 24 million in 2017 i believe so yeah let's see <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong Evan. no instant failure Sausage oh. Party only had 600,000 monthly searches really i thought that was like a whole thing and Maybe I'm maybe I'm way off. Maybe it came out way earlier than that. 
Listen, we got to get you at least one point. So we're going to yeah. we're going to retry this. Okay. Does the fuck, I'm not going to say this correctly. Does the Bahai Gardens have a higher or lower search than Lego with 6 million? Lower. Lower. Lego has more. Correct. Does the usual suspects movie have a higher or lower monthly search than Baha'i Gardens with 5,000 monthly searches? Uh, higher. Higher. Correct. Does Italy have a higher or lower average monthly search than the usual suspects film with 165,000 monthly searches? I'm going to go higher. Correct, Evan. Oh, my Fuck. goodness. Okay, does John McEnroe, a tennis player, have higher or lower monthly searches than Italy with 800,000 monthly searches? I'm going to go lower. You motherfucker, you got it <laughs> right. Oh, does we're tied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I need to not not help you so much. Does Jet Li have higher or lower monthly searches than John McEnroe with 165,000 monthly searches? He has higher. This is a gamble here, Evan. Higher. Do you know who that is? No, but his last name's Lee. Okay. God damn it. You got it right. <laughs> Okay, does the term driving instructor have a higher or lower monthly search than Jet Li with 368,000 monthly searches? Higher. I'm going to go higher. <sighs> Fuck, I don't even know why I'm nervous. You already fucking won, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, thank God you failed. It only had 49,000. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Five, is you, that five points? You scored a five. You know, that that's definitely above average. Uh, it says, excellent. The average score is 3.2. So you're pretty good. We're impressed. That's a score worth sharing. These fuckers. <laughs> one point difference. And they're saying all that? That's not fucking fair. <laughs> Oh my We're goodness. both above average. No, I'm above average. You're just <laughs> just better above average. No, okay, we're done here. I'm angry. This has been higher or lower. God damn. <laughs> so fucking loud. <laughs> we're ending this podcast on a sad note. Uh, with another victory, two victories in a row. Uh, maybe a third one next week. We'll see. Let's see if I'm feeling mercy, <laughs> dude. Next time you should try to beat five. I, I don't think I don't four. think I'll ever beat five ever again, <laughs> dude. That was really fucking good. You, I was so surprised. You you got some fucking lucky ones, because I know you guessed on like two of them at least, and that was pure luck. Yeah, I guess on all of them, Christian. Oh, you did? You didn't? <laughs> oh. I thought like Lego and... You're not... Are you not trying to use your brain for these? No. Oh. Well, that's not fair. I'm like really trying to use my brain. I think that concludes this episode of the Untitled Podcast. Evan, please... Please leave the audience with... um With... An inf informational way to leave a room safely. Um, if you're going to leave a room safely, <clears throat> make sure to open the door and walk out in a calm fashion. Beautifully said. Couldn't have been safer. Thank you for joining us for episode 69, wink, wink, of the Untitled Podcast. I'm Christian, and that's the fucking loser over there. I'm Evan, the winner. Thanks for watching and goodbye.